Wendy and I want to welcome you to this week's Tech Tuesday video. So this video is a little bit of a two for one because I wanted to show you a really good productivity app. And productivity apps are one are apps that you can use to help stay focused uh, on whatever you're working on instead of just like keep getting distracted and checking your phone or tablet. I found a really good one called Forest that I actually use, uh, and while it is available on iOS, you do have to pay $1.99 for it. And then I also found a really good app for Apple called Flora, which is free on Apple but doesn't exist on Android. So today we're going to do a little bit of a two-for-one where I'm going to spend most of this video showing you how Flora works because it's honestly very similar to Forest. And then at the end of the video, just kind of remind you about Forest and what it can do. So if you've been looking for an app to help you stay focused while you study, meditate, uh, are working, anything like that, this could be a really good video for you. So the first thing you have to do is download uh, Flora off the App Store. It's just Flora. It looks like that. And we're going to click on it. When you initially click on it, uh, you will have to sign up for an account. Like I said, Flora is completely free and you will receive a verification code from Flora to whatever email you use to sign up and you'll have to put that code in. And then there's about four or five little pages that show you how Flora works and you can just go through those and learn a little bit more. And once you finish that process, which honestly takes a minute, this is what you're going to get to. So in Flora, you have a room that you grow plants in. And this is the home screen because this is kind of the most important thing that you have to do. Uh, you have your little seed up here because while you're focusing on the screen, this little seed is going to bloom and grow. And when you get to the end of whatever time period you've set to focus on, uh, it will have bloomed into a tree and you can grow your little garden. Now, these are the, I'm going to show you, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about what is actually in this screen. So you see price. Now, Flora, like I said, doesn't ha it's free and you don't have to pay money. But if you would like extra accountability, you can set a price by clicking on it and you can set up your charge information, everything, which is if you become distracted and decide to use your phone while focusing in Flora, the little tree you're using to grow will die and then you're going to give $5 or whatever it is to the associated charity that actually does plant trees. So if you want that extra accountability or you just want to help uh, the environment and plant trees, that's something you can do. Otherwise, just feel free to ignore it. Uh, the really important thing is this focus timer. Uh, so the focus timer is you deciding how much time you want to spend focusing on something. Uh, you know, maybe you want to do a five minute meditation, uh, a 15 minute study, uh, a 30 minute um, research session, whatever it is. You're just going to pull the wheel down and say what it is and hit OK. You can also set a break timer. So as soon as that productivity timer goes off, you are immediately going to launch into your break. Now you can just click off if you want. You can do 30 minutes, you can do three minutes, five, whatever it is you want. And then you can uh, click in the text box and say what it is you're doing, because that's gonna help you track the habit. Uh, so you know what you've been doing. I'm just gonna say studying for GRE. You can also choose to plant uh, with individuals. Uh, so you can kind of do a group exercise if all of you are, are trying to, if you and a bunch of friends are trying to get together and improve your, your productivity. And if you're ready, you can just click start. And this is what it looks like once you start. It lets you know what you're doing and who's doing it, just me, uh, if there's a price involved or anything like that. And as you go, this little seed in the middle is going to bloom and grow into a tree. Now, uh, let's say, uh, you know, you forgot you actually need to stop and immediately do something. You don't want to lie. Well, you hit that X 
And then it asks, are you sure you will kill this little tree? And that's the accountability. Do you want to have this little seed wither or do you want to keep going? And I'm just going to say, okay. And that's what it's going to look like. It lets you know that I've, I've killed a tree. <laughs> and the break timer is now going off. Now, if you're, you're done with all that, you need to get it back, you just click see story and it's going to take you to your garden. It lets you know up top uh, how many weeks you were productive, how many real trees uh, you planted, um, things like that. Uh, it shows what it is that you tried to do. Uh, just now I tried to study for a GRE. Um, you can also at this point add a to-do list. Uh, so let's say mm, you want to meditate. You can uh, put in a reminder if you want. Uh, you can also put a time you want to do it. Let's say I want to meditate at 9 p.m. on Thursday. And then you click OK. And so that's one of your goals. And you'll actually receive a notification from the app letting you know. You can also check your stats uh, to see what you've done. I haven't, like how often you've worked on it, things like that. And then if you want to go to something else, remember clicking on this little plant here, that is your room where you're going to be focusing. Uh, the people is your friends, so you can import them from contacts or from Facebook. And if you have anything in your feed, which you'll usually get if you're actually like working with people, that's where you'll see it. Uh, and then finally, these little uh, three horizontal lines are kind of your settings, essentially. So you can say if you want to receive notifications, daily summary, etc. And just make this a little bit more customized to you. And that's all that there is to Flora. Uh, it's a very simple little thing. I actually uh, think it's very cute and like it a lot. Um, I didn't really expect to like it as much as I do Forest, but I think it's just really good. Uh, so I'm going to show you what Forest is real quick. If you go to the App Store, you can just type in Forest, and it's this one up top that is $1.99. Okay. And so Forest works very much the same. Uh, if you're getting an Android, you can use it completely for free, but there are in-app purchases. So uh, there are coins in Forest that uh, you can use to purchase uh, extra plants and things like that. Um, you can also get coins every time you grow a tree uh, or watch an ad. Um, so there's a little bit more customization in Forest that I think makes it um, a little bit more fun. But if all you're trying to do is have a, an accountability and a productivity app, I think that Flora works really, really well. And it's definitely something you want to check out if you have an Apple product. Uh, if you have Android, uh, you can either, you can, uh, the only real option I have for you today is to try Forest. But either way, I hope you will look into these apps and give them a try because we all need a little bit help now and then to stay focused and productive and accountable. So I think these apps will work really well. Reminder that for Android or Apple, it is Forest and for Apple, it is Flora. So thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments and I'll do my best to help you. Bye-bye.